Hi folks, welcome back. Thanks for joining. Um, so today is a little different. Um, as you can see, um, I have a couple of uh, vacuum cleaners up here on the table. Okay, uh, this is my shop vac. This is my beloved shop vac uh, that I use, uh, as you can see, quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, I've damaged it by uh, abusing it, by trying to use it as a... Uh, a uh, vacuum for uh, my vacuum table here and uh, I got the spin down of death where the uh, the bearing squealed on me which means it's done pretty much so yeah the suction is down on this now I do love shop back and I do love this particular shop back uh, these things uh, the uh, the suction power on these things uh, are uh, unparalleled I, I don't think any shop, any vacuum on the market <laughs> no matter how expensive or fancy it is can beat the suction power of this little here shop vac I've used them for years this is the second one that I've ever owned and um, both times uh, I, I killed them uh, by abusing them so uh, I've even come up with a little a couple little modifications here for instance something I put just a couple little pieces together here so that I can attach to the hose and I can uh, do my keyboards and stuff. Now this thing here is a um, what they wind cotton on. So this is a spool from cotton. And of course this is a, um, a brush attachment from another type of uh, vacuum. Uh, and I just scrounge the pieces together and I've been using that outfit actually for years and uh, but today uh, it's about this guy right here I'm going to put this together and the reason why I'm going to put it together is because I started putting it together and I realized how poor the instructions were and how uh, there's a few places that folks might get caught up so I thought I would do an unboxing and assembly video on this guy right here now to put this thing together you're going to need you're going to need, from what I found so far, two tools. Uh, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, and you're going to need a flat screwdriver. However, uh, the flat screwdriver is a nut, so you can use a, a nut driver instead. And I have my little uh, handy 8-in-1, uh, 12-in-1. It's a whole bunch of things in one. Uh, I have a uh, screwdriver, Phillips and flat here. And then I have an assortment of nut drivers when you start taking this thing apart like this. So, and uh, another size right here. So. Now, the first thing I noticed when I uh, opened this thing was the, uh, the instructions. They were pretty bad. But then I thought, how hard could it be? So, really... Um, you can pretty much do this without the instructions, which is probably why these are so bad. Nobody's ever bothered to mention. So, But for some folks, uh, I'm sure it's going to be uh, quite difficult. Uh, it's going to be uh, you know, strange territory for them. So I'm going to provide a little close-up detail of how to put these things together. And there's, like I said, there's a couple tricks on this. For instance, it's not completely round. So... Uh, these legs are going to be a bit of a trick for you. So let's get to that. And uh, unfortunately, this guy, he he's going to get recycled the best he can. And then uh, that's going to be it for him. Well, that has followed me for a lot of years. Now, as I said, the reason why uh, I need a new shot vac, uh, that thing is 20 years old. I don't know. It's very old. And I, it, it's still kicking. The reason I need it is because I abused it. I tried to use it as a, uh, as a vacuum table right here for my bioplastics. Uh, it's a new process where I want to try to extract more of the water. Now, yeah, I'm going to need to upgrade and I'm going to need to... Uh, get a vacuum pump and a water separator and that sort of thing for that but uh, I want to replace my vacuum for the shop as well 
This is going to come in handy. Now this is the little filter bag. This goes inside and uh, I'll show you where to attach it. But this is going to collect all of the dust right here. And then you empty this. And you can reuse this if you're careful about how you take this bag apart. Or you can just buy a new bag. Shop back would love that. Now I th these are made right up the street as a matter of fact. They're made in the USA and they are made right up the street. I mean, I this is the third one I've owned in my life. So, and like I said, I would probably still be on my first one, but I abuse them. All these tools look fairly strange to you right now. All these parts. <coughs> Okay. Now inside here there are more. And this is where I decided to stop and uh, turn on the camera for the benefit of folks who would like a assembly video for a shop back. Okay, then you got the hose. And some screws. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this thing over and I'm going to attach the wheels. And as I said, uh, these, uh, it's not square, okay? It's not, we, we can't mit, hit four points. And I discovered that when I tried to attach this because this one has two. So I had to slide this down on two of them and it wouldn't work that way. And it wouldn't work this way. No, it works this way. Just like that. So you've got an A and a B. That's what's down here. And then these, okay, uh, as you can see, they're different shapes, so therefore they go on a specific way. So, and it doesn't fit that way. Okay, so that goes there. And this goes here. Now to hold everything down, this is where we're going to need a screwdriver. Now these uh, these screws are flat, a flathead screwdriver, but they also have a nut. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use that instead. Now these are handy little things and um, now if you want to get one of these you're going to have to look in a hardware store in like the electrical department or whatever. But I'm going to use the biggest because uh, these are pretty standard sizes, 5 sixteenths and uh, that's what I'm going to use here. I don't think we have to be Magilla Gorilla on these things. Just snug it up. It's plastic. Everything should be uh, just fine. Just a little snug. I could be wrong. But I'm going with it for right now. I wouldn't tighten it too much because you will crack it. So. All right, there we are. Now, I do believe that is the hardest part about putting this thing together. As far as I can tell, the legs or the wheels... They look like they just snap in. So that's what I'm going to try to do right now. Uh, they're going to snap in. These are little outriggers right here. That's so it doesn't flop over so easy. But Yeah. Takes a bit of a smack. So.
Uh, and maybe they're different. Those work just fine. These, however, okay, it's not going to be any fun. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. This is sanding block. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I'll try to edit out that noise. All right. So, I do believe we're good to go now. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to put this bag on right here. I haven't tried it yet. Don't know how it's going to work. But I assume this is the business end right here. And you got me. There's no way. I uh, have no idea what they're talking about. Uh, and the reason why is because it's got this little, def this is a, a kind of like a deflector. Uh, this is so uh, big particles of dirt won't tear this thing up. But I don't know what this is. It won't fit. It'll fit in the hole. This will fit in here just fine. Uh, uh. Okay, well it has directions here. Uh, slide that off. Okay. Make sure that this He wants me to point the deflector down, but um, here's the deflector. It's not going to go down. But uh, we are going to just assemble it the way it looks like it kind of really has to go. We're going to ignore the instructions on the bag, but I do notice that here, okay, there's a little silicone uh, seal here. So this is uh, this is going to go over the deflector, and I think it's going to fit very nice. And it says to fold it in like this. That way, as it expands, it can fill that whole thing. So. No. I've got a better idea. You see, because this goes over like this. But if I push it all the way in, 
nice and tight. There we go. It seats in very nicely. And this, it has a little cradle in here. And that can, oh, that's perfect, just like that. Now we put this in. All right, and that's all the parts for the inside. <sighs> I don't think we have to do anything else. This is a nice little feature right here. Uh, I can tell you these things right here, uh, the little one, when they kick start, they sometimes throw a puff of smoke. It's always been an annoyance. So it looks to me like they've addressed that problem with this little feature here. I like it. Now from here, this thing took me a minute, I kid you not. Okay, but uh, they are tapered, and for a minute I was going this way, and I was going this way, and they didn't fit till I turned one, and they fit. It's the little things that get me, let me tell you. Very excited about buying a larger one because uh, I like to use this to uh, vacuum the floor. Nothing gets a, a floor cleaner than a shop vac, let me tell you or a carpet and uh, but doing it on my knees with that little one was starting to get to me so I'm taking a risk and I'm buying a larger volume to see if it also has the vacuum or the sucking power as their little one I've never found another vacuum and I've tested a lot of them but uh, that beat that little shot back right there but we'll see A few parts left over. This guy right here is a foam sleeve and it'll go over this. <coughs> Always nice. Uh. If I don't tear it, if I do tear it, I'm gonna use a t-shirt. I tore it. I don't think this actually fits. I think this is probably. I think they could have made it just a little bit bigger. Okay. I'm going to say that's a fail right there. I mean, I can try to stretch it, but there's no, uh, there's no indication here. So, but, uh, well, I got my bag here, so this part right here should be just fine. Uh, if I didn't have my bag, I would certainly use this. Uh, to protect this filter right here. So, let's put it back together and keep going here. <clears throat> okay, this guy, I'm kind of still scratching my head on this. Now, I'm sure it's in the instructions somewhere. I'm not even kidding. I have no idea what it is. Huh. 
Well, this seems to be for another model. Here we have this. A lot of plastic. Okay. All right. So this right here, unfortunately, seems to be junk. It's got the hose. Uh, I don't like fiddly things and. Uh, that is what this is. This is a fiddly thing. Okay, so <laughs> there we have it. Uh, you want to hear it? Yeah, I'm curious to see if it has the suction power of that little one. And I'll know right away. Unfortunately, that my little one has lost power. So I won't be able to compare side by side, but I know what that little guy can do. So. Let's try to find some juice. <sighs> Sounds good. I'm going to like it. You know, I could do a commercial for shop back. I really like them. And like I say, they're made right up the street. So I'm happy about that. Made in USA. And that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you found some value in this. And I'll uh, do some more uh, like that if you like it. Y'all take care now.